All right, what up, Yenzers? So I want to talk a little bit about the uh, self-defense bill that's about to uh, pass. It advanced in the House. So it's the Castle Doctrine for PA. Now, uh, Ed Rendell, who used to be our governor, shot that shit down. So he's not our governor no more. So yippee. Tom Corbett, who I voted for, is our governor now, and he said he will sign the bill. So his ass better, or his ass is out of a job. They're saying that uh, now you can basically stand your ground if there's a risk and you don't have to retreat. So, and I'm I'm liking that. A lot of people are saying, well, it's going to be the wild, wild west and all that other shit, you know. But right now, you know, you have to spend more precious moments if something's going down determining whether you got to run or whether you can shoot, you know, because it's not justifiable. And if you do use deadly force, then you have to prove that it's justifiable to a judge, a jury, and 20 other people. And for me, you know, <laughs> I'm making a decision. If it's justifiable to me, it's justifiable to me. That's that, you know. And they're also saying that now you can sue the person that is attacking you if you have to miss work or if they cause you bodily harm. Because before it was the other way around. They were suing your ass, you know. They pull 50 cent on you and take nine rounds and still live, and then they want to sue you. So they ain't taking nine of that 45 right there. And yes, it is loaded, because that's how this Yenzer rolls. So I'm really hoping that they pass it. I just, the other day, somebody up the street got jacked at a Mac machine with a gun, ran into an old folks home, and that could have been ugly as hell. And I'm not saying that if I was the person at the Mac machine, if I had a gun and they jacked me, that I would have been able to take care of them. But what if that person ran into that home and started shooting people up? Big scenario difference. What if the person that got jacked had a gun and took that person out? He could have saved some lives. We don't know. You know, I just want him to pass this shit. Ed Rendell voted it down. Tom Corbett says he's signing it, so sign the shit. I just wanted to... uh to go in effect. I don't go out much because I can't stand people. I freaking hate them. Nothing personal. But they're all assholes. Everybody's busy with their head down. Walking around. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Walking into you. Bumping into you. Crashing into you. Talking on the phone. You know. Have no fucking idea what's going on in this world. The people with their head up. And I noticed this. Next time you go out. Look around. People with their head up. I'll bet you 9 out of 10 times they're carrying. People with their head down don't know shit. They ain't carrying nothing but freaking whatever. So, they're saying the bill is not about killing people. The bill is about defense and protecting your loved ones. And I agree with that, 100%. And that's what it's about. I don't think it's going to be the wild, wild west. Yeah, you're going to get people when you're going to see on the news that if this goes through... People are going to be shooting it at. But for me, anybody with common sense is just not going to pull their gun out on some road rage or something stupid. You know, the people with common sense that carry guns are the ones that are going to use common sense. So I just was reading the article in the paper. I just thought I'd share that with you. I just want to know for your states... Do you have the Castle Doctrine? I know like Texas does and other ones too, but it's something they need to enforce because people are carrying like crazy now. And yeah, it might open up a can of worms, but again, it might save a lot of lives too. And that's what I'm about, you know. What else? What else? Anything else? I think that's it. So make sure you vote. You know, my boys are in their 20s. I tell them, don't mess it up. Don't do nothing to screw up. Don't make no mistakes as far as like getting felonies and shit. Because you lose your right to vote and you lose your right to carry. So don't fuck it up. You know. I really don't swear too much in my videos. But this is something that is, you know, important to me. And it's important for me for them. Because I want them to be able to carry and protect their families down the road. And I want them to be able to stick up for their rights down the road. Because that's what it's about. And if parents start parenting their children and do what they need to do, shit will be better. But that's another video. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Later.